Hello my beautiful souls and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna look at who is almost at your door. Who's coming, what's coming, it doesn't have to be a person, it could be a situation, an event, whatever it is. So knock knock, who is at your door, what's at your door, what you need to know right now. Maybe because you may miss a certain opportunity or maybe you need to be ready for this event. Um, there is certain reason you're watching this reading, right? Anyways, knock knock. What's there? Who is there? You may choose from those four stars. Uh, they were calling to me today. <laughs> Especially those specific colors for some reason. So let's do that. Uh, let me see. Pile one, pile two. I want to do it like that. Pile four, three. No, this is pile. This is, uh, I don't know, pile four. or This is pile three, this is pile four. I don't know. Right now, three and four, like, competing. Maybe you want to choose both piles. Anyways, let's start with star number one. One second. Hello, pile one. Whoever chose this green star. Let's see. What or who is coming at your door? What kind of event, situation, person, whoever they are? Person, definitely person. Mm, I see a person saying, you forgot about me, you don't think about me anymore, why I don't feel your energy anymore? Uh, what is this about? Who is this person? Somebody who loves you. Somebody, somebody who wants to rebuild your connection. It could be friendship, it could be love, it could be partnership, whatever it is. This person is feeling that you kind of going away, you fading from their life. They feel lonely without you, without your energy, without your feelings maybe, without your um, continuation of this connection. They feel like they're losing you and they want to rebuild something. So definitely a person. For pile one, a person wants to reconnect with you. What else is knocking at your door? What else? Or who else? Mm. I want to say for some, your certain trip or event will be cancelled. But this is for good. Something, don't worry if something will be cancelled, postponed. Uh, maybe your flight will be cancelled or postponed. Or maybe... A certain trip or event will be rescheduled uh, or maybe it's related to work or it's a date that you're not gonna be able to go to the the way it will happen it's only for your own good especially if it's you had to meet a certain person over there or somebody was involved in all of that it will ons only play for your good so don't get frustrated if something's not gonna go the way you want it to go it's good. It's why is it good? What's going to change? Hmm. It's going to take you out of a certain misery or disappointment that you could have had if if things were the way they you planned. So basically you will be, you will overcome some um unwanted unneeded situation. Yeah, a certain trip or event that was going to be a failure. And uh, so be happy when things will be postponed or somehow rescheduled. What else, pile one, for you? What else knocking at your door? I want to say you. <laughs> You knocking at your own door. Why? Uh, suddenly you will decide either to take care of yourself, somehow change your um, life habit, work habit. 
you will start maybe working out or you will change something in you here you beautify yourself in some way you are taking care of yourself i even hear of your skin in some way and you you will be searching for some solution for uh, changing your appearance in some way and this is good for you uh, why is it unexpected or why is it knocking your door because you need it you need it uh to improve yourself, your looks, or something in you that bothered you for quite some time. Maybe you worried about your skin, uh, you had some um, allergies or irritation, you will take care of this. And stuff like that, it could be, you know, it could be many different things. Maybe you decided to change your hair color. Yeah, something that bothered you didn't let you to uh, be you, I hear. Something that bothered you didn't let you to be you. Hmm. And finally, what else for pile one? What else is knocking at your door? Who else is knocking at your door? Definitely someone. Let me confirm something here. Uh, a person who... In the past, didn't treat you the way they supposed to treat you or left you behind or somehow you went separate ways. I see to like your uh, lives were going separate ways and you are reconnecting. This person would like to reconnect with you. Why? Because they, they feel... Um, they reminiscent about this time you had together. They want to return uh, for more stability with you, maybe a better friendship. If for some, even person from your past wants to build a family with you. If this is love. If this is friendship, this person wants to rebuild this friendship. Uh, if this is relatives that you didn't talk for a while, maybe since your childhood you didn't see them, you went your separate ways. doesn't have to be there's some painful separation not this is not for all for some it's just you didn't see this person for a while maybe you worked together many years ago and they would like to reconnect with you um this is good this is good this will inspire you actually this reconnection will inspire you in some way yes i already had this ace of wands and it's coming again it will truly inspire you for the new uh, you will be renewed after this news. Uh, maybe they'll ask you to go and meet them somewhere. Maybe at the airport or, or you, you'll see each other somewhere in nature. Or they'll ask you on a date. Um, yeah, I want to say it's up to you, of course, because you are the magician of your life. But I, more or less, I would say go. Go, you will enjoy this time. Many things will be revealed to you. Many things will be... Um, now clear to you about what maybe happened in the past why things happened the way they happened they will explain many things to you pile one this person okay thank you very much and i'm going for star number two hello pile two whoever chose this uh purple star let's see oh my god it's almost matching the color of the candle and actually even the cover of the cards some similar vibe here blue purple let me see <clears throat> knock knock what or who's coming at your door pile two i cannot say coming i want to say someone is running <laughs> someone is running at you through you i don't know uh with all their force it's like imagining this card um they're walking they're not expecting this person to show up but here i don't see as much as you they're coming to hurt you no they're just coming in a certain unexpected quiet secretive way they don't want you to know they're coming funny thing pile two this person doesn't want you to know at all. And look, look. 
page of wands and strength. But while I was talking, this person got upset with me saying you this information. They say this sh they shouldn't know with the strength. They don't want you strongly, don't want you to know they're coming. Why? What's the secret? What's the surprise here? Why they don't want you to know? Maybe they even may be coming from afar. Maybe you're the distance right now. Or uh, why they don't want you to know they're coming? Why? The lovers. Wow. Because they know if they will come or let you know that they're coming, you will set up your mind with not accepting them or you will start adapting them or thinking things that happened in the past and you wouldn't let them in. It's like they don't want you to know because they know your reaction. If you know ahead of time that they're coming, you will make up your mind and it's not in their favor. And because they want you to choose them or to let them speak or to let them show you that they care in some other way, it needs to be a surprise or in the form of um, unexpected event. Okay, interesting. Didn't expect that pile too. So someone's coming. They want to... Um, I want to ask what about you? What you should do about this? Don't fight this. Don't wait on it. Don't uh, protect yourself from this. Let it come. And you figure it out on the spot, I want to I wanna say. You're going to figure things out right on the spot. Depending on what this person will say or tell you, offer you, explain themselves. Um, let them let them do what they want to do. Yes. Let them uh, bring this clarity or let them talk. Let them speak. Let them um, make their point. Okay. Okay. What else, pile two? What else? Uh, knocking at your door. Wants to come in. Mm. Something that you for a long time ex wanted but not expecting anymore. It's like uh, you not already even wishing for this because maybe it's conversation with a certain person, communication with a certain person, or a partnership, connection, something that you wanted a long time ago and you kind of gave up on this wish. You gave up on certain wish. Or maybe it's not just a conversation with some, maybe it's conversation about something. Maybe you wished for something, you prayed for something, you wanted, but this was specific. And now, maybe you wanted uh, to open a business or something, I don't know. But let's say if this is a person or a situation you asked for a long time ago, you kind of gave up on it, you're not waiting on it anymore, or you're not... Um, it's not your main priority anymore, it's not your wish anymore. Uh, you don't really much care, not just you don't care, you just like, mm, whatever, you know, probably it's never going to happen and that's okay. What about it? <laughs> and now it's suddenly knocking at your door, right? That's the question of the reading. And you're like saying, why now? Why now? I'm not ready now. I already have certain other things going on in my life. I just, you know, uh, finally had some peace. Why now? Why they coming or this coming now? Why? Let me tell you, this person also waited, waited for too long to approach you. Or to, the situation was kind of already in the, too, too much of a long pause and as soon as you let go of this it's coming ahead it, it 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 needed to happen it was supposed to happen long time ago but it didn't for some five to six years ago for some it was supposed to happen few years ago or five to six months ago but it didn't and now it's coming most likely a person that you wanted before and now they're coming now when it's kind of too late or not really too late it's more of you moved on not because 
uh, how do I say it, it's not... The situation itself uh, outgrown, it like has outgrown and uh, it's not on your list anymore. For instance, you you had a list of groceries you wanted to buy uh, two weeks ago, for instance. And then later on you find this list in your purse and you're looking at it, you don't need those groceries anymore. You either probably already bought them or you bought new ones or you already have them. And you're like, what are you doing to this list? You're just looking at it, you're reminding yourself, wow, that's what I wanted before, now I don't want it anymore. Or I wanted it before, but it's not, um, it was in the past. It's not practical anymore. Something like that. But it's coming. What should you do with this? Well, let me tell you, it's a test. It's a test for you guys. To make sure that you truly let go of this or not. Because if you lie to yourself that you let go of it, and as soon as this appears in your, and you take it, that means you never let go of this wish. And you still want it. For some people, you would still want this wish, even though so much time has by. For others, you will release this and say, it was great when it lasted, but now I don't want it anymore. It doesn't... Um, it doesn't surprise me anymore. It doesn't uh, fill me anymore. It doesn't... Uh, uh, I'm not content with it anymore. Uh, it's gone. The, the energy of this wish is gone. So for everyone, it will be different. Okay, what else? Finally, for pile two, what else? What else? Knocking at your door. Why am I saying... Why am I hearing... A bunch of people, relatives maybe, will knock at your door literally and would like to visit you. Or somebody would like to visit you but that you're not waiting on. Maybe you're sick right now or you... Um, or just somebody's visiting from afar or people that unexpectedly will knock your door. Who is this? Who, who are those people? Hmm. Well, two ways. Two ways it could go for everyone is different. For some, this is your lost, uh, long lost friend or friend that you uh, argued with and separated. And this friend could be a woman, doesn't have to be, wants to reconcile with you, come back, uh, back to your life and, uh, you know, like nothing happened. For others, I ask if this could be a love situation or, a, uh, you know, a man, doesn't, again, man or woman, it's not the, the main idea. Somebody uh, somebody who hurt you, betrayed you in the past, will show up again. Why? Why are they coming? Are their intentions true? Mm. Well, first of all, I want to say... <laughs> why am I hearing? They, they miss the fight or they miss the energy where you were uh, present. You're not present anymore. You don't let your energy to, you know, come through. You, they don't receive from you. They feel like you moved on, let go. Uh, you don't care about them anymore. You give out your love to somewhere else, somebody else. They're jealous. They're upset. Uh, can I say they come in with good intentions? Not really. No. They're just here to regain your energy, to get your back, uh, your energy back. They don't feel, they feel uh, miserable without you. They feel lost. They feel, uh, they're, they're struggling. They're struggling energetically. They're attached to you. They tried new uh, partners. They tried new friends. They try to, um, even I hear commit to somebody at certain point of time. Didn't work. 
didn't work, they couldn't find uh, the truth in those connections. They couldn't find authenticity in those connections. They only found it in you. And they're coming back. What should you do with them? Two cards. What should you do with them? Don't let them in again. If they're coming with this hardship again, with uh, trying to prove something or trying to get your energy, you feel drained from them or you felt before, don't let them in. You don't need this person. You do not need this person. They will continuously drain you and bring you back into some miserable situation. If this was person who betrayed you, left you in a cold, um, you know, had like um, had somebody else instead of you, like put you in a third party and stuff like that. This is not good. Understand why they're coming. Yes, they miss you, but they're coming for their own reasons. Anyways, thank you, Pile 2. I'm going for a 3 and 4 kind of battling here. Let me start with the red one. That's going to be Pile number 3. Let's see. Knock, knock. What events or who is coming at your door? Pile 3. Who's coming ahead? What's coming ahead for Pile 3? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Pile 3. I'll tell you several examples. For some worry is coming towards you but what kind of worry is that you either will be accepted to a certain um, college school work career something opportunity idea that will be uh, present to you and you will be worrying if you will make it happen maybe you'll need to travel for it Maybe you'll need to relocate. Maybe you'll need to uh, invest money into it. But this is going to be a great cha chance to change your life for better financially. Some financial flow. Uh, potential for financial flow. Not just the flow of finances, but potential. And you will be truly worrying to make a mistake. What about it? Should you accept this offer? Interesting. Again, um, and I told you it's going to go two ways, but actually here I'm going to tell you two ways of situation. If the offer is coming from a certain individual, could be a fire sign. While your life is doing great, you're doing more or less okay. Uh, you more or less fine with your... Uh, work, career, money, stability, don't take this offer. For others, if you're truly working on finding a job, uh, building your career or uh, growing at your career or making more money, you're not satisfied with your career. And even if somebody offering you to travel far the world, uh, change location, change workplace, go for it. So it's going to be two completely different answers, yes and no, but for different situations. If your life is doing great right now, or at least you're happy and someone's coming offering something, don't take the offer. If things are not going as well, or you for quite some time struggling, you don't know how to make more money, how to build your career, where to find a better job, and offer is coming, even if it's a far offer, take it. Again, this is just a guidance. Your life is in your hands, but the guidance is here, and you chose the star for a reason. Okay, <laughs> finally, what else? Pile 3. Not finally yet, because I take three events, but what's coming? Who's coming at your door? 
quatro e... What's Carmen? What's Carmen? Uh, some person coming. Could be your uh, spouse, your ex-spouse, or somebody who you live together or had shared some things together, maybe shared um, house together, shared finances together, something you had together here. They're coming with an angry mod. Why are they angry? Or they're unhappy about something. They're coming to tell you something, to talk to you, to even argue with you. Be careful not to get into this negative vibe of theirs. They're not going to be happy at that moment when they're coming towards you. Why are they not happy? What do they want from you? Why are they not happy? What do they want? <laughs> they, don't, they don't like the outcome of whatever happened between you. Maybe... If this is your ex or ex-spouse, they don't like the outcome of your uh, divorce or separation. They're here to talk to you. They feel like you still belong to one another or you still belong to them in some way. If the Wheel of Fortune, they feel still connection towards you. But it seems like you don't really care. Or maybe your uh, recent conversation, some something they didn't like in your recent conversation... Uh, and they want to clear things out with you. They're not um, happy about something or they're not agreeing on your last conversation. Maybe you had some communication about finances or about your kids or about uh, some other stuff you're doing together because you're obviously here involved together in something. What is it? Work-related, uh, relationships, whatever. And they don't like the way maybe you chose things to be or the way you're not yeah you're not acting towards them or you're not you're not putting effort and they they hate it they gonna you know advice for you uh hang in there <laughs> but at the same time don't let this person to change your mind or to, for instance, you decided to go somewhere, they tell you don't go, don't leave, or don't move out, don't relocate. But you already kind of decided on it, you're happy with your decision. Don't let them uh, bring um, some doubts about your decision. Listen to your heart, to your intuition, what you truly want. Listen to you, not to them or what they want. You can consider what they say. But don't let their negative energy or the aggression to come towards you. Because right now you're more or less in a positive mode. Or uh, you will be soon when they approach you. Okay. Uh, okay, I want to look one more for pile three. One more for pile three. What else? Knocking at your door, coming at your door. Okay, you will go to a certain event or party or a restaurant or a bar or... Family will gather together. Something celebration of some some maybe someone's wedding or uh, engagement. I don't know what is this about. Hmm. You're gonna say I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. I don't feel like going. Maybe you're gonna you're not gonna feel well that day. You wouldn't want to go. What about it? And you will be communicating with somebody about it. And this person will tell you what to do. Not that you want somebody to tell you what to do. But at a specific moment, you will ask an advice. Maybe from your friend, your relative, your loved ones. Or somebody random, even maybe. Uh, with the high priest, some wise person. You will ask, should you go or not in your situation? Or maybe the situation will be in a way that you don't know, know if you want to go there. Ask this person. And this person will give you some answer. Yes, very wise person. Or somebody who you can trust. Will give you a very... Maybe if the person even not as wise. They will give you a very wise advice. Or just one sentence. One, two words that will somehow affect your decision towards it. For instance, they'll tell you. You overthinking, just go. And you're like... They're right. Why am I even thinking about it, right? I, I'll go. Or the opposite. They'll tell you, 
if you doubt in yourself, why are you even going there? Are you supposed to go be there? And you like thinking, am I supposed to be there? Is this so important? And they're like, not really. Why am I considering this? You know, those kind of things. Somebody will advise you on should you go or not. But most of you will go regardless because you will be very curious about something or someone. Yeah. Some of you will go, but maybe later, or you will arrive later. Or for others, you wouldn't make it with time. Maybe you will be rushing it from coming from your work. There will be traffic and stuff like that. And you're going to say, uh, so many obstacles on the way, probably I shouldn't go there. And you will appear there, but later. So basically, if you're supposed to be in this event, you will be. This is like fated. This is... This is uh, with the judgment, if you're supposed to be in this event, no matter how hard you try not to go, you go. If you're not supposed to be there, no matter how hard you try, you will be late or you uh, will be adapting yourself, you wouldn't go. So something's coming that you will need to make a decision on. But no matter what you decide, it's going to be fate. It's, a, it's fate. So don't overthink or don't try too hard. Okay, let the universe uh, figure things out for you. And I even hear open roads for you or closed roads for you for a certain reason. Thank you, pile three. And finally, I'm going for pile number four. Pile four, yellow star. Let's see. Knock, knock. What's coming? Who's coming? <laughs> what you need to know right now? What's coming at your door? Who's coming at your door? What kind of event, person, what it is? Pile four. Mm hmm mm hmm let me confirm something. Interesting. Pile four. You will be saying goodbye to something. Yes. Uh, it could, it's not really a person, it's more of a situation. Or maybe you will say goodbye to your old job because you will find a new one or you would want to find something better. Some people will say goodbye to their uh, native country or country you res uh, reside right now in. It's like you saying goodbye and those goodbyes, they're not random, they're not out of the blue. They're more like you living with, uh, yes, you have certain sadness because there is a change coming. You, uh, you're going outside of your comfort zone, but you're also excited about the new and you're ready to um, work on the new. You're ready to change your life. And it's not can you, um, interesting, very different energy for pile four here. You, it's like you're releasing something and you move into the new. You feel reminiscent a, bit, a little bit about it about the situation, but you're also excited. What else is knocking your door? Hmm. Let me confirm. Um, interesting. Pile four is very unique energies because the other piles they were more like active in a way where uh, what's coming, what you need to do about it. Here, it's more about what's leaving. You about or just ended a certain karmic cycle, karma, karmic situation. 
um, that bothered you for a long time and you coming out of it as a magician I don't know what you did here uh, pile four but you did great I, I even hear um, for some maybe you had blockage on uh, getting pregnant you ending this karma maybe it was coming from your ancestors from your um, family line people uh, you know woman couldn't get pregnant and you releasing this karma and you moving ahead and you getting pregnant soon this is one of the examples that comes to me right now but you can apply this in any other way something that you struggled with for a long time maybe you struggled with a certain type of relationships that you always got and now you changing this vibe and you are the, becoming the magician and you choosing what kind of relationship you want to be in or what kind of person you want to attract yes before you also wanted to attract a certain person but it didn't work out really it wasn't really up to you now you will attract completely new individuals same thing could be with work or with any other issue here you releasing something and completely new energy comes through okay what else is knocking at your door or who else what else As I said, a pile for releasing uh, a certain energy, a certain place, and a person could be you living. Let me know in comments. It's very, um, I feel your energy right now. A bit of sadness, but at the same time, happiness. You thought through this. You like, you, you saying I had enough, I don't want this anymore, I don't want this anymore, I hear the words, I don't want this anymore, or I don't want to be there anymore, I'm done, I'm leaving, and you moving, the, it's like you moving this um, chariot, you moving it, you are the sun, it's nobody else but you, sorry, the commercial just came through, it's no one else but you who is changing things around. Okay, but let's ask what's actually coming ahead then. If you leave thing, many things behind, what's coming ahead next? What's coming next? Let's ask this way, okay? What is coming next? Just give me a second. What's coming next? Then for you. Temperance. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Strength. <laughs> and the lovers. You making or just made the best choice of your life, I want to say. You, because of all of that you been through and you actually finally had the strength to leave it behind whatever bothered you whatever didn't bring you happiness the universe is uh, giving you ahead strength temperance and ten of pentacles with the lovers everything that you wished for or could never even wish for because it's so great so everything great is coming ahead of you because you leaving behind what's not needed anymore you waited for so long to have it, to do, to make this move. Uh, you listened to your intuition and new opportunities in love, including in love. Uh, yes, definitely new admirers, maybe new connections. And the hair of fund, even new uh, workplace or new marriage. It's like the universe gives you a price with the hair of fund and telling you you did everything right or you doing the right thing because you follow your heart 
you follow your soul you follow your needs over other people's needs you choose you and for that you will be um, your wish will be granted or your wishes beautiful I love pile 4 uh, the death you ending something and you beginning the new the, this death this uh, transformation of yours and it's major here is is your strength this transformation even the devil that you've been through look how many major arcana is coming through this devil that you were fighting and you finally overcome this devil uh, it took you a long time you coming out to the Hierophant you um, for some people you will find your emperor your other half or a new job or whatever you struggled with you um, becoming victorious you starting new guys Congratulations, pile four. You, if nothing really, you releasing right now or will be in the close future. It's not your pile. Here you, you did a great job. You realized your own worth. You, you moving somewhere, and this movement was needed, or this movement was the right choice to make. Okay. Congratulations, pile four. I'm so happy for you. You have a new journey to begin. I love you all, guys. I hope you like the reading. Let me know in comments, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.